Welcome to this video on getting started with Tableau Prep. You can download the dataset and packaged flow file underneath the video to follow along in your own copy of Tableau Prep. We're working with data for best-selling books. Tableau Prep makes it easy to get your data ready for analysis. With the same highly interactive drag-and-drop interactions you're used to, Tableau Prep can be used to combine, clean, and shape your data exactly how you want it. Preparing data is done by building a flow, made up of steps such as cleaning, pivoting, or aggregating data. Tableau Desktop works best with data that is tidy in structure. That is, the data should be in rows and columns, and each row should represent one item of data, and each column should be one attribute. How do we get our data that way using Tableau Prep? Let's jump in. First, we'll connect to the data set. Our best seller data is in Excel. We'll connect to the American Booksellers Association bestseller lists from February 28th. Here in the Connections pane, we see the list of tables, or sheet tabs, in the data set. We'll drag out a table, and now we have our first step in the flow. The input step is configurable below. We can bring in every sheet in the file by using a wildcard union and leaving the matching pattern blank. Over on the right, we can see a list of the fields we'll bring in from these tables. Everything looks good. Up in the flow pane, we can rename this step by double-clicking and typing a name. Let's call this February 28th. To add another step in the flow, we'll click the plus button. We want just a basic cleaning step to start. This will let us see the state of our data and what we might need to do to clean it. Below the flow pane, we now see the profile pane and data grid. The profile pane shows a card for each field in the data set and the cards display the values in each field, as well as distribution information about how frequently each value appears. By clicking on a bar, we can highlight related values in other fields. The Info field has multiple pieces of information in one column. If we look down in the data grid, which shows a more row-level representation of the data, we can see that this field has a pipe between title and author then a dollar sign before the price, and a pipe and ISBN. We can split these values out into unique columns, as we want for analysis. Click on the card, and open the menu. There are multiple cleaning options here, but we'll choose Automatic Split. Tableau Prep is smart enough to recognize common delimiters, even when they're different, and we'll split these out for four new columns. Renaming the new fields is as easy as double-clicking and typing the desired name. We no longer need the original info field, so we can remove it. We can also split this field and remove the original. Now we have all the distinct columns we want. Price is currently a string data type, but it should be a decimal number. We can click on the data type icon and choose number, decimal. We have more weeks worth of data, so let's add them to the flow. We can connect to new data. It can be from any source, but ours happens to be another Excel file. We'll bring in a table, select wildcard union, and now we have our second data source. To combine two steps in the flow, simply drag one onto the other and select Join or Union. Here we have the same column structures, so we want to union. We can verify that everything matches up correctly. Now we simply need to make sure that the cleaning we did is applied to the results from the union, not the first data set alone. We can right-click on the line and select Remove then drag the union step to the cleaning step. That's all it takes. Our data is prepared and ready for use, so let's create an output step. We'll click the plus and add an output. 
we'll choose a CSV format. And we can choose where to save the file and what to name it. Now when we run the flow, we generate a new file. Tableau Prep does not write back to the original data source. This new file contains all of the data as we cleaned and combined it. We're ready for analysis. Flows in Tableau Prep can be simple or complex, and each type of step has robust options. Thank you for watching this video on getting started with Tableau Prep. We invite you to continue with the other free training videos to learn more about using Tableau. Welcome to this video on getting started with Tableau Prep Conductor. Tableau Prep Conductor is an add-on to Tableau Server that enables us to keep our data fresh by scheduling our published flows to run automatically. Tableau Prep Conductor also enables us to monitor, administer, and govern our flows. To use Tableau Prep Conductor, we create a flow in Tableau Prep Builder, publish the flow to Tableau Server, and then create a task in Tableau Server to schedule our flow. You can download the package flow file underneath this video to follow along. We are using the Sales Performance Flow. To learn about Tableau Prep Conductor, let's start by opening an existing flow in Tableau Prep Builder. This flow brings in data for regional orders, returns, and quotas. The data in these sources is neither clean nor consistent. Tableau Prep Builder enables us to perform steps to clean, shape, and combine our data to prepare it for analysis. One or more output steps define where the results of the flow will be published. Now that we understand our flow, let's examine our need for scheduling. Each day, new data is added to the orders, returns, and quota data sources. This new data needs to run through the data preparation steps of our flow each day. Rather than manually publishing our flow each day, let's use Tableau Prep Conductor to schedule our flow to run on a daily basis. From within Tableau Prep Builder, let's sign in to Tableau Server. Before we publish our flow to Tableau Server, let's set our two output steps to also publish to Tableau Server. We click on our Create Superstore Sales Output step, expand the output pane, and set the output to publish as a data source. Next, we select the server we just signed into and the desired project, output name, and description. We keep the output pane open and move on to our second output step. For the Create Annual Regional Performance Output step, we set the output to publish as a data source. We select the server we are signed into and the desired project, output name, and description. Now that we have defined our output steps, we minimize the output pane. Let's publish our flow to Tableau Server so that we can schedule it to run. From the Server menu, we select Publish Flow. Next, we select the desired project and flow name. Let's edit our file connections. We'll select Upload to package our six source files into the published flow. A direct connection enables the files to be refreshed, but requires Tableau Server to have access to the locations of our source files. Let's publish our flow. Tableau Server now shows us the flow we just published. On this overview tab, we see our two output steps above the published flow. Let's create a new task to schedule our flow. We can create separate tasks for each output, but in our case, we'll schedule both outputs to run at the same time. Let's schedule our outputs to run daily at 11 a.m. Rather than waiting until that time, let's run our flow now. While our flow is running, let's take a look at the other tabs of our flow workspace. The Connections tab is where we can see and edit the connections for each of our input and output steps. The Scheduled Tasks tab is where we can add new tasks and modify existing tasks. Here we see the task we just scheduled to run daily at 11 a.m. The Run History tab shows us the status for the flow we just ran. Both our output steps succeeded. The Run History will grow as our flow runs each day at 11 a.m. We can also see the revision history of our flow. If a flow fails, an error message will appear next to the failure status, 
and we will receive an email notifying us of the flow failure. When we explore all data sources, we see the two outputs of our flow. When our flow runs as scheduled daily at 11 a.m., these two data sources will be updated with fresh data. Workbooks based on these data sources will display the fresh data as well. When we explore all flows, we see the flow we just published and scheduled. As the owner of the flow, we can assign permissions to other users who may want to run or edit our flow. Currently, all users can view and save our flow. We can set custom permissions or choose from the predefined options. Tableau Server Administrators can monitor the real-time status of the processes running in Tableau Server. Both Tableau Server Administrators and Tableau Site Administrators can monitor flow activity and performance using administrative views. Tableau Server Administrators can create schedules that others may use to schedule their flows. For additional help on the use of Tableau Prep Conductor, please visit onlinehelp.tableau.com. Thank you for watching this video on Tableau Prep Conductor. We invite you to continue with the free training videos to learn more about using Tableau.